Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to Connect 2021. For our next session today, we're joined by Bolle Safety, who specialise in safety eyewear with a wide range of comfortable and protective safety and prescription eyewear. Bolle Safety has the right equipment for your unique needs, led by innovation for over 130 years. They develop all their products and services to go beyond users' expectations. Driven by innovation, Bolle Safety launched exclusive permanent technologies such as Platinum and CSP, an indoor-outdoor shade that filtrates blue light and is also compatible with Platinum. If you've got any questions while watching the presentation, pop them in the Q&A box in the top right hand corner as usual. And I'll be joined by Steve Lydiat from Bolle to answer your questions after the demo. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Bolle Safety's presence at the Connect 2021 virtual event. During this short presentation, we're going to have a look at a brief history of Bolle giving you some detail of who we are, what we do, if you've never heard of us before. Uh, we're going to have a short outline of our products and the technologies within them and how those benefit organisations and individuals using our products or distributing our products. And we're also going to look at a new initiative that will help improve our sustainable credentials and those of our users and our distribution partners. Bolle have a long history, having been in existence for in excess of 130 years. Since the 1930s, at the core of our expertise has been eye protection, both in an industrial and in a sporting environment. Despite the advances in PPE and the implementation of PPE, there are still 800,000 work-related eye injuries each year. And it is this fact that drives Bolle Safety to implement their expertise and help the users of the world protect themselves. With its origins and head office in France, Bolle is an international company and has had a presence in the UK market since 1965. Bolle Safety as a division of Bolle Brands being created in 1994. We have six offices throughout the world, operate in 100 countries and every day 20 million workers wear Bolle branded safety eyewear. We have a global reach supported by local expertise, including a team in the UK. So that was a brief look at Bolle the business. What about Bolle's products, particularly in the safety division? Whether the demand is for a short duration product to be worn in frequently, perhaps by workers such as agency workers who are not going to be with the organisation for a long time, all the way through to a premium product with specialist coatings that enhance the ability of the individual to work safely and comfortably. We have a broad range to cover all these potential applications. The broadness of the portfolio from Bolle Safety also provides differing levels of protection depending upon the hazard, depending upon the application, all the way from spectacles through improved protection in a hybrid uh, to an OTG over the glasses spectacle to goggles with increased levels of impact protection and splash resistance, face shields likewise, even including electric arc protection all the way to welding helmets where their use is not merely PPE, it is a vital part of the process that is being conducted. An important element of any item of PPE is its comfort and usability for the wearer. Constant innovation brings improvements in comfort and usability and Bolle's history since 1888 has been built upon developing new lens and new frame technologies to improve safety and usability. Some examples of the technologies that go into lenses, both as tints and coatings, include our CSP lens, what would have been an indoor-outdoor lens in, in previous terminology, can be used both indoors and outdoors, and stands for comfort, sensitivity and perception. It has the capability to 
filter out harmful blue light as well as enhancing contrast and carrying a high performance anti-fog, anti-scratch coating called our platinum coating, which we'll show some more detail of later. Pro blue filters, which specifically again filter out harmful blue light. Grey and brown sunglass tints, coatings including the platinum that I've already mentioned, but also polarising filters, anti-reflective filters for specialised use in very brightly lit environments such as laboratories. Frame technologies include the utilisation of specialist manufacturing techniques, which allow the use of both hard and soft materials in the same manufacturing process, thus keeping costs down but enhancing comfort. In addition, we can offer adjustable side arms, flexible nose bridges, flexible side arms, additional foam seal and strap kits, all to make the fit for the individual suitable for them. They can make these changes so the product fits them perfectly and they're able to get all day wearing comfort. Via the Bolle web-based prescription program, our excellence program, we're able to provide bespoke prescription spectacles where corrective vision is required for an individual. Thus, if they need to use, for example, single vision or bifocal lenses in their normal everyday life, it's reasonable that we provide those for their work life and Bolle are able to do that via their prescription program. Many of the specialist lens technologies that we've already mentioned are actually available in the prescription program as well. So polarised lenses, smoke lenses, anti-fog, anti-scratch coating, the platinum high performance coating is available as standard on many of our lenses. Some of our frame styles can be customised with the colours and logos of an organisation to enhance not only safety in the inherent qualities of the product, but also the brand identity of the organisation. In addition, application specific special projects can be considered. So whether your needs are mainstream or really specific, Bolle have the capability to support you. We have a short video to share with you now to show you the performance of some of the outdoor lenses from the Bollet safety range. The importance of a good anti-fog coating has really been highlighted by recent world events. Bolle's platinum coating, available on a wide range of our standard safety products, is rare in that it has the anti-fog and anti-scratch capability applied to both sides of the lens. 
And this has proven to be of enormous benefit, particularly to anybody wearing masks who may not have required anti-fog coating previously. The hydrophilic properties of Bolle's platinum coating prevents droplets of water from being created and means that the onset of fogging is much delayed versus a lens that isn't coated. As a responsible manufacturer operating in a global economy, Bolle Safety have taken some recent steps with their Go Green program to offer sustainability improvements via recyclable products and biodegradable packaging. Initially, the focus is on three sustainable projects. The Solis Go Green Safety Spectacle is manufactured from recycled nylon fishing nets. It's only sold in our eco packaging, which I'll explain in a moment, and is fully EN166 certified and UKCA compliant. Bolle have developed some eco packaging, which is 100% recycled and recyclable, is also biodegradable. There is no plastic Therefore, there is less waste and the user instructions printed in vegetable based ink are on the inside. So no waste user instructions. At the end of their useful life, the safety spectacles, rather than going to landfill, can be collected by a partner organisation with Bolle Safety Recycling Lives. The product can be recycled, the polycarbonate can be recovered thus ensuring that the whole process is as eco-friendly as possible. At the very beginning of this presentation, I mentioned that Bolle Safety put eye protection at the core of our expertise. Within the UK and Irish markets, we have an office based in Chessington in Surrey and nine external experts throughout the country to support your needs, whatever they may be. In addition, Soon, Bolle will be putting to market a range of made in Britain products specifically for the demands of the UK market at this time and to ensure that all products are fully compliant at all times with both international and local regulation. All our products will be UK CA certified by the end of this year. In summary, then, we have a versatile organisation dedicated in and expert in the provision of eye protection and as an example in just one product the rush plus we can demonstrate the versatility by having different lens technologies available that platinum coating that we've talked about the customizable capability with various temple colors available in eco packaging with the addition of the foam and strap, it actually changes into a higher level of impact performance. Incredible versatility from just one product and from the organisation as a whole. Thank you for your time. We look forward to being able to discuss with you the opportunity to improve not only the safety and comfort of individuals and employees who are exposed to eye hazards, but also potentially the sustainability and profit targets of your organization as a whole. Here are so a few examples of some companies that have trusted us on that journey. We hope to have the opportunity to work with yourselves. In Welcome future. back everybody and a happy Friday to you all. That was a great demo. And don't forget to post your questions in the tab on the top right hand corner. We've got loads coming in. So I'm really pleased to be joined by Steve. Steve, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, now I think we'll crack on with um, what is Bolle, Bolle Safety current um, current range of sustainable products? Yeah, well, thank you, Joe, and uh, good morning to everybody. Um, sustainability is uh, a very big topic and subject for Bolle Safety uh, this current time. We launched our sustainability message, or the start of it, uh, about uh, six to eight weeks ago. Uh, details can be found on bolle-safety.com on our opening page, uh, where you can download the brochure. It will talk about how we are now uh, on a course of removing all plastic packaging from our products, uh, but with a company that specializes solely in uh, optics and protecting people's eyes, it will take us a, a couple of years or so. But to start off with, we have brought out a uh, limited number of products 
that are now uh, packaged with non-plastic packaging. Uh, we've also removed the paper instructions that normally come along within the plastic packaging because we've now printed those instructions on the inside of the carton. So that ink is also vegetable based. Uh, there is a silk paper uh, that is wrapped around the glasses now that is also, you can also recycle and the cardboard is made from recycled cardboard and it can also be uh, recycled again. Uh, like I say, everything is, uh, every, all the printing, so our normal standard packaging, which is still in existence until we have this complete uh, turnover of the packaging is sort of a glossy black and white, uh, but the new one is just plain cardboard with plain writing on it and all vegetable based ink. And as part of the, uh, what we're also doing, we've also launched a new product called the Solace Go Green. And the frame is made from recycled fishing nets. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And we've also got uh, a solution from the end of the life of the glasses, uh, we are, where we have a relationship with a recycling company in the UK. Uh, ethically and morally, they're a very good company. Uh, they support local food banks, uh, help reform ex-prisoners by giving them work and accommodation and education. But they will talk to any customers we introduce uh, about recycling the glasses at the end of their life, as well as talking about other forms of PPE they can recycle if they so wish. Gosh, Steve, that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, that is a lot of time and effort and work that's gone into that sustainability um, program. And, you know, as you say, it does take time to implement it. But wow, that's very impressive. And I think actually a lot more companies would be um, if they can take your lead on recycling um, and using um, fishing nets, ex fishing nets, that that would be a huge help um, to, to our ocean. Yeah. We, we've also as well on the prescription side of the safety eyewear range that we do, we've just launched one model of, uh, again, probably about a month ago, uh, and that lens is made from bio-based material. So going forward, Bolly is on a clear course of removing all the plastic packaging. Um, it's looking at innovation in regards to manufacturing uh with uh, difficult to describe but there's a mold that is produced when you're making a pair of glasses but it's investigating new technology whereby the, the amount of co2 uh could be reduced by 50 percent for every pair of glasses made wow and we are determined as much as we can um to look at more sustainable materials uh, going forward uh, when we're producing uh, eyewear, uh, particularly around the frames. But obviously being a safety company and wanting to protect people's eyes, it's a fine balance between between the two. But the, co the company has set a course. Uh, um, I've been heavily involved in the project. I've just actually just signed off some more products to come online in October, which will include uh, goggles and a, a hybrid goggles. And we've done a mixture, so we're not aiming this at the premium range of our of our product. We're starting, you know, we're giving customers the option, like we always like to, of sort of entry level products all the way up to the premium ones. Oh, well, good on you, and um, well done for being very involved. So, typically, how long will a pair of glasses last in a harsh environment with dust? Ah, uh, well, they are. <sighs> that's a very hard question to answer. If they are cleaned and maintained correctly, uh, then they will last and last and last. Um, because of our coatings, we also recommend, and this is where you sound like a typical salesperson, but it's the truth, our, uh, our coatings are water-based. And this is also part of our sustainability message as well. So we remove, reduce the amount of chemicals within that. So because they're water-based, they will help protect the coatings on the lens, okay? Uh, and then it comes down to things like human behavior. If you throw, if you come in to the office every day and you throw your glasses on the table, then chances are they may well scratch. Yeah, if you keep them in a pouch or a case, then obviously they won't. Mm. Um, so it's, it, I've, I saw the gentleman, funny enough, at the Health and Safety Expo a couple of years ago when obviously I, the last one that was physical before the wonderful world of COVID. And he came with a pair of our glasses called the Contour. He asked the same question. Uh, it has our unique platinum coating whereby the glasses will not fog inside or out because Bolly coats on both sides of the lens. 
and you can put these over a steaming kettle and they still won't fog. Um, and he said, how long do I keep my glasses for? And so I asked to look at them and he showed them to me and I inspected them. We have a little steamer always running at the show, put them over the steamer, they did not fog. And I asked the gentleman, I said, well, they're absolutely fine. I said, how long have you had them for? And he said, seven years. Wow. Now, it's a great endorsement of Bolle, of the, the, you know, the quality of the product, the, colors, the quality of the coating. Um, you could possibly argue that the powers of B would like them to <laughs> not last so long, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And that's what we pride ourselves on is the quality of the products that we produce because ultimately, uh, Bolly is a, an optics company. It is only interested in protecting people's eyes. Yeah, that's a cautionary tale for life. Well done. <laughs> um, if a lens became damaged, could I replace the lens and keep the frame or will I need a whole new pair? You would need a whole new pair. Okay, no problem. It's only, uh, I'm just trying to think. Um, no, you would no. Even the product that we had, where you could interchange the lenses, you can't. We, we've done a, the product's gone away now, so we've discontinued it. So no, you have to change it. Okay. Is there a reason for that? Is that is that a safety reason? It, partially, yes, because it's obviously about securing the lens back into the frame. Obviously, all frames can be different. You can have a, a full frame around the lens, or you could just have the, the frame could just go across the top. So, like, if anybody sees the glasses, so it's a full frame around. But then you'll have other glasses i don't know can i show people if i show something will people see it? joe i would have thought so you show it so if i hold a pair of glasses like this as you can see in essence there is no frame to it it's just it's just where the side arms are attached to the frame so it's all one complete unit yeah so then it, it wouldn't make any sense okay and also with the greatest respect to people changing lenses human error if they get it wrong and then there's an, an incident and an impact and the vision is affected by that, then it's not good. Great stuff. So actually going back a little bit um, to uh, recycling the glasses, um, th this person would like to know a little bit more about how um, they can recycle the glasses when they're no longer usable. <clears throat> okay, so we, can, uh, we will put anybody who approaches us in contact with the recycling company that uh, we formed a relationship with. We're two separate companies. Once that introduction is made, it's purely then between the recycling company and whoever the, uh, the end user of the business is to discuss uh, obviously what can be recycled, how often it's going to be recycled, costs, such things like that. But they will give examples also. And like I say, so it is other forms of PPE that, that you can discuss with them. It's not just about the glasses. Uh, and they will give examples of where the materials within the glasses have uh, can be or have been, uh, you know, recycled and reused. So the polycarbonate, to give an example, that's gone into uh, roofing materials. And the uh, nylon has gone into, I believe, from memory, clothing, uh, also mobile phone cases, so things like that. So there's a uh, there's a whole, you know, span of uh, industries that uh, you know can take these products once they've been recycled and uh, and reuse them. Nice to have that personal conversation as well. So from date of order, what is the time frame in receiving my eyewear? Oh, um, uh, depending on the uh, the order, the size, but you're talking uh, typically uh, within around five days, five to seven days at the absolute most. That's if we're talking standard eyewear. If it's prescription safety eyewear, then it's a different uh, it's a different process because there's obviously a, uh, you have to go and get your eyes tested with an optician. So there's that process to go through as well. But even when that order is finalised, you're typically talking seven to ten days to be back with the optician and for the glasses to be in your hands. Great. So I think you've kind of just touched on that, actually, on this next question by um, answering that last one. But do the frames need to be fitted like my standard prescription glasses? And can the lenses be made to my own specific prescription? Yeah. Yeah. Bolly, uh, again, being an optics company, uh, you know, we... Uh, almost on a weekly basis, believe it or not, we have opticians coming to us asking, can you make this because we can't? Nine times out of 10, we can. Okay, we help develop such things as what's known as a high index lens. So it's, um, it's basically where you we've thinned the lens, but to be able to put in a higher prescription. So uh, there's nothing within prescription as such that uh, the body cannot achieve through its uh, labs when it's producing. 
So you've got all your various different lens types from single vision to bifocal to very focal. We have different lens options within there in regards to the material of the lens. So if it's a VDU uh, pair of glasses like what I'm wearing, and it can be a material called CR39, it's fine in an office environment because it doesn't have to withstand an impact. But then traditionally with your safety prescription glasses, like your standard ones, you will also, you'd have that as a polycarbonate lens. We've also just introduced a lens called Trivex. Uh, it's impact rated like polycarbonate, but it's got more protection against chemicals. All right, fascinating. Right. And then with, with prescription, well, in essence, the world's your oyster in regards to extras. So there's uh, three different levels of tint. You can have them polarized. You can have a, tra a transitional or photochromic, as some people refer to it. The lens goes from light to dark. You can have anti-reflective coatings. You can have a coating like what I've got on mine, which is called B-Zen. It helps to block out harmful blue light. Uh, harmful blue light comes from things like the sun, LED lightings, these wonderful computer screens and monitors that we've been staring at for well over a year, uh, spending far too much time in them, but because of obviously the world of COVID, we've all resorted to uh, working more from home like I am now, uh, but it helps to protect uh, against blue light. Anybody who wants to know more about blue light, because we're limited for the time here, but you can go into bolly-safety.com. You can go into the, along the top menu bar, there's the prescription program. It will tell you everything about the lenses that we do. It will give you information about blue light, how exposure to blue light, a long-term can damage a retina, so forth and so on. Oh, fantastic. It's a really great resource as well, isn't it? So, um just to just to finish that conversation so there are no um restrictions on a prescription so for instance if somebody had partial blindness there wouldn't be a restriction on that kind of prescription would be and i the last uh the last um challenging case that i had was a young uh, lady she was an engineer on a major project in london uh, her vision, and for those who are uh, listening and know about prescription, was uh, plus 12, uh, which is uh, obviously very high. And she also had stigmatism as well. Mm -hmm. um, but we were able to put her into a, uh, a product called the Tracker, uh, and which actually also has an inset. Okay, so it's a, high, it's a hybrid goggle. So it's, it's got that higher impact rating even for prescription, uh, similar to the standard products. And we were actually able to, uh, to, to put a prescription into, uh, into that, no problem at all. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So well, it was quite, it, quite an interesting case because then a, a month or two later, the young lady, uh, some people might find this uh, slightly funny, but uh, she then said there was an issue with the glasses. Now those issues were that she had very long eyelashes. <laughs> eyelashes were touching the insert of the, uh, of the prescription glasses. She, she had the tracker and she asked if there was a solution. And that's where we then reverted back to this new technology with the high index. We got the lab to push the lens as far forward into the frame as possible, made the lens thinner, still impact protected, and was able to put it into a standard pair of glasses. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, did, I did offer to, uh, being the scouser that I am, I did offer to cut her eyelashes, but she, re she rejected, she, uh, you know, she didn't want to go down that route so that's yeah fine. i'm not surprised you'll have spent all our money on them <laughs> <laughs> so what does um Bolly safety produce in the uk so Bolly safety now is um producing some uh or is in the process of producing some uh, face shields and goggles primarily for the moment that's going to be for the healthcare market um but um Listen, I, I can't say because I'm not the man who, who signs the check and presses the button as such. Um, I will go so far as to say that I think it's surprised the business about uh, the cost of manufacturing in the UK, um, how, it's, uh, how cost effective it can be. And I think probably because of the experiences that we've all gone through in the last uh, 18 months or so, um, I think things may change. But... I'm not in a position to uh, confirm that one way or another. 
Well, Steve, you've been an absolute joy. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you want to find out more about the products discussed um, or any more about Blue Light, like Steve said, book a meeting with a representative or head to their website. Um, otherwise, we'll be back at 11 o'clock with another product demo from Havi Technologies. We hope to see you there. Thank you very much, everybody.